Have you ever wanted to create barcodes in Excel, but weren't sure where to start? Maybe you're managing inventory, making product labels, or just curious about how barcodes work. Well, you're in the right place. By the time we're done, you'll be able to generate barcodes that can be scanned with any barcode scanner, and it's surprisingly easy. No special software needed. So grab a coffee, get comfy, and let's dive in. Hey there, welcome to Melon Training. My name is Andreas, and I'm here to help you learn Excel in the simplest way possible. I promise, no boring lectures, just fun and easy learning. In this tutorial, we're going to break things down step by step. First, we talk about how barcodes work in Excel. Then we'll format our data properly so the barcode appears correctly. After that, we'll write a simple formula to generate barcodes. Next, we'll apply the correct font so that Excel turns our codes into barcodes. Finally, we'll check how to install the barcode font if you don't have it already. By the end, you'll have everything you need to start creating barcodes in Excel easily and efficiently. No magic, no coding, just Excel and a little know-how. Before we can generate a barcode, we need to make sure our data is formatted properly. If you have numbers that start with zero, Excel might try to help by removing the zero, which can mess up your barcode. Thanks, Excel. To prevent this, we need to format the column that contains our codes as text. This ensures Excel keeps every number exactly as it is. No sneaky changes. Now that our data is formatted correctly, it's time to generate the barcode itself. To do this, Click on a cell where you want the barcode to appear. Let's say that cell C3. Now type this formula. Equal sign, double quotes, open a bracket, double quotes again, and then add an ampersand symbol. After that, write the cell that contains the code, which is B3. Ampersand again, and then type double quotes. Close the bracket, double quotes again. Once you press enter, Excel will create a formatted version of your code inside brackets. This might not look like a barcode yet, but don't worry, we're getting there. To apply the formula to the rest of your list, just drag the small square at the bottom right corner of the cell downward. This will copy the formula to all other rows. Like magic, but with spreadsheets. Now comes the fun part, turning these numbers into actual barcodes. To do this, select the entire column where you just entered the formula, go to the font settings, and change the font to ID Automatic HC39M. Instantly, your text will transform into a barcode that can be scanned with a barcode reader. Feels kind of futuristic, doesn't it? One of the best things about this method is that the barcode is dynamic. That means if you go back and change the original number in column B, the barcode in column C will automatically update. Try it out. Change one of the numbers, and you'll see the barcode adjust immediately. It's like Excel is doing the hard work for you, for once. If you don't see the barcode font on your list, don't worry. You just need to install it, and it's completely free. Here's how you can do it. First, go to ID Automatic specific link that has the free code 39 font. Here's the link. We've also included the link in the description below. This website contains all information about the 39 barcode font and using the button download. There you'll find ID Automatic HC39M font. Click the download now button. Once the file has been downloaded, extract it from the zip folder. Inside, you'll find the font file. Double click on it and hit install. Once that's done, restart Excel and check your font list again. You should now see the barcode font available and ready to use. And just like that, you're barcode ready. And that's it. You now know how to create barcodes in Excel from scratch. 
This method is simple, quick, and very effective. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and check out our other videos for more easy Excel tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.